Christmas certainly celebrates an event. It's about a fact. It's not fairy tale. Whatever about the magic of Christmas. We're not dealing with fiction. We're dealing with fact. But Christmas is also about the way in which God relates to us, all of us, and relates to the whole cosmos. Because Christmas says that God comes to us, doesn't sit back and demand that we come to him, as we sometimes think. Christmas also says that God meets us where and as we are, no matter how messy things are or how messy my life or yours may be. That's where God meets us, not in some perfect world. And then Christmas also says that God becomes one of us. The God who is in some ways infinitely other becomes flesh and blood, one of us. So in other words, Christmas celebrates the fact that God is always and everywhere in the flesh, the flesh of things. And one of the things this means is that you don't have to deny or escape from your humanity in order to discover the divinity. To find your way to God, you have to enter into your humanity, all of it, more and more deeply. And that's where you'll find the child born. That's where you will find God. Why does God do this? God comes to us in order to lead us home. Christmas is in many ways about homecoming, not for everyone perhaps, but for many of us, it is gathering with family and friends in a kind of homecoming. Well, in Christmas, we celebrate the monumental fact that God comes to us, becomes one of us in order to lead us home, home to the garden and out of the desert, home to the garden, which is our true home where we can be together with each other and together with God. So a very happy and blessed Christmas to you and those you love.